Uh, thank you everyone for uh, attending my talk and uh, my name is Simon and I'm uh, from uh, Songyungwan University in South Korea and uh, the reason I'm uh, the main reason I'm going to present for this talk is uh, something thinking time we take for granted for the internet services uh, it is actually meaningful and uh, we need to revisit for uh, different applications so um, NTP uh, network time protocol is actually uh, developed to uh, enable uh, the time, uh, synchronized time in uh, World Wide Web. And uh, this is fundamental block for the um, uh, prior to web services, right? So we need to uh, know the time and synchronize, synchronize the time. And then uh, this uh, NTP was actually introduced by uh, Professor David Mills at University of Delaware. And the goal is to synchronize the clock across different computer systems and networks. And uh, um, it internet continues to grow. Uh, there is a lot of scalability and complexity issue. So now uh, NTP is being still used and the millions of machines, computer systems and devices and our phones are synchronized to uh, uh, main clock, but using uh, this NTP. So uh, NTP actually proposed in uh, 1985 uh, as an RFC, and uh, it is pretty old. And uh, the simple uh, idea about NTP is uh, shown in this slide. So basically, we have uh, two nodes. Uh, one is time server, who has accurate time, and then uh, time client, who want to deliver, uh, propagate the time uh, to the time client. And uh, these simple uh, magic formula actually offset and delay uh, at each node compute and synchronize uh, time on both sides. So uh, B time client is the one that want to, uh, his clock is want to be synchronized with time server. And uh, uh, the assumption in this formula is uh, we are, uh, in general, the uh, the paths are symmetric. Uh, so the, the distance between these two are similar. And then assuming no errors in the uh, link, uh, so that, you know, the NTP packet uh, being sent does not drop, and uh, uh, and also uh, there are several different assumptions uh, to enable this. So uh, in this simple case, we have a processing delay at each node to uh, calculate and create and send the uh, network time program packet is D, and it is symmetric, and then the uh, distance between uh, these two uh, nodes is symmetric and E, then we can actually uh, compute this exactly offset and delay. And then uh, this amount of uh, offset and delay, uh, it can exactly uh, synchronize uh, one to another. So this is a very simplified picture of uh, time synchronization uh, between two nodes. However, in real world, um, there are errors and uh, pass between A and B is asymmetric. So uh, the actual NTP operation is a little more and much more complex, but this is how uh, uh, time can be uh, synchronized and propagate and distribute from one node to another. And another uh, feature about NTP is, is a hierarchical structure. So uh, main uh, time sub server is actually has the most accurate time uh, information uh, sync to GPS. And uh, uh, stratum one uh, is uh, next accurate time uh, server client. And then it send the time to uh, next level. Uh, so it is hierarchical uh, structures that, that deliver the time. And also it can uh, deliver the time to in the uh, neighborhood as well. So um, now we are using NTP uh, almost everywhere for the terrestrial network to enable different types of web services and internet. And uh, also uh, once uh, uh, we have considered providing internet and web services for the space. So it's called the interplanetary internet. Uh, I think some of you maybe heard about Bin Sarp. He uh, was the uh, he he was very uh, known for this uh, proposing this interplanetary internet and then using it uh, actually proposing this and then uh, so this was this is proposing NASA a few I think ten or twenty years ago and uh, still. Um, uh, envision, but we are not quite there yet to provide the uh, uh, web services uh, in space yet. So these are the Earth, uh, and uh, 
these are the uh, satellite and then um, uh, this can be a Mars here, Mars network. There are a lot of uh, satellite and rovers and uh, are there. So how we can actually uh, send uh, some uh, 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 information like communicate over the communication link, deep space link, how we can actually send the uh, uh, command and files and uh, enabling different types of web service is uh, how we can do that is a quick question, but uh, we are not there yet. But uh, this is uh, uh, something we have to consider uh, in the future. So um, uh, the proposed interplanetary to internet is uh, there, however, um, uh, it is not actually uh, implemented fully, and uh, uh, but in Korea actually uh, uh, they ha they sent a KPRO uh, Luna Orbiter uh, two years ago, and then they were successfully uh, sending and downloading uh, 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 BTS. One of the uh, K-pop uh, music star <laughs> video was success successfully downloaded. So I guess this is very primitive. Uh, uh, web services, file transfer uh, is done. And I'm sure there are other countries, uh, India or US or China, they are also able to ha have uh, some satellite orbiter uh, at the lunar uh, moon, so they have it. And the next target would be Mars to uh, communicate and provide internet there. And uh, this is actually a news article uh, I just uh, uh, searched uh, uh, this week. And the May 14, SpaceX and Blue Origin is also interested in Mars uh, or internet, interplanetary internet. So uh, internet and web services, I think people are and uh, uh, interested in expanding it uh, beyond the Earth. Uh, so I hope uh, this problem can be uh, um, uh, examined in uh, in near future as well. So uh, the main topic about uh, this talk is network time synchronization. So we know how to synchronize clock on the terrestrial network internet, but how we can actually synchronize uh, uh, clock in uh, uh, Mars network, for example, deep space network. So uh, assume we have uh, accurate uh, time information uh, uh, at the uh, Earth, and then uh, this time information can be sent to Mars, and then even eventually to the rover here. So this idea was actually uh, proposed about uh, 20 years ago, uh, uh, about 15 years ago, uh, but uh, it hasn't been actually implemented yet, but uh, I'd like to introduce, uh, uh, since i like to revisit the network time protocol. So uh, this types of uh, a space uh, 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 internet, the time synchronization is actually key. So, motivation about this uh, NTP uh, based timekeeping approach in space is uh, we uh, the GPS uh, satellite may not be there uh, on the Mars, right? Very expensive to uh, have three, four different GPS satellite, and then direct to Earth communication between Mars and then Earth is challenging. And then uh, there are a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, more challenging issues to compare to Earth uh, because of distance and then communication link is weak, etc. cetera. So um, actually David Mills, the professor, uh, David Mills, who is actually inventor of NTP, uh, looked at this issue with uh, NASA and I was uh, involved uh, with this project with him. And uh, this is a particular project called the Proximity One uh, Interleave Time Synchronization Protocol Development. So uh, in short, it's a PITS protocol, uh, which I work with uh, David Mills, uh, inventor of NTP, to provide the time uh, in this Mars network. So. Uh, this is a very similar uh, 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 diagram where time client we assume is a, a rover and then time server is maybe satellite uh, uh, orbiting the Mars and then assume we have a time server uh, in the uh, uh, Mars orbiter has more accurate, accurate time information and try to send the time information to client rover here. So uh, this is called the PITS uh, uh, protocol, and it has a, uh, uh, these are some of the uh, variables. Actually, exactly you can compute the uh, time dip delay and offset uh, in the same equation uh, I show you uh, uh, in the uh, before. So it has a, a symmetric mode, and then it has a, a interleaved mode. But symmetric mode is actually uh, 
not as accurate because we are sending uh, time information in the packet. However, uh, the the time information when we actually put it into packet is not actual time because uh, we timestamp first and then create the packet. So the packet leave after uh, the timestamp has been done. So uh, time generally this uh, uh, directly time spending, uh, time stamping and sending uh, packet is not as accurate. So uh, uh, one one of the approach uh, he uh, invented was interleaved mode where um, we send the time in the following packet. So instead of uh, sending directly, uh, we uh, capture the time and then we send in the following uh, 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 time instance. So uh, this can actually, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Stop. Oh, okay, sure, finish, finish it, okay. So uh, another challenge in um, space is actually, there's no network and uh, the physical layer is uh, uh, different. So we have to, uh, uh, actually configure this hardware uh, part. And uh, these are some of the simulation is done. So the main reason I am, uh, I like to present this paper is uh, actually, unfortunately, David Mills, uh, who is actually uh, worked a lot and uh, I think he was a pioneer uh, on this internet and worldwide that actually passed away this year, January. So. Uh, I think Bin Serp was the father of internet, and some people say David Miller was a grandfather. And I, I'm, I think he actually uh, <laughs> deserve uh, uh, more recognition personally. And then he did a tremendous of important uh, actually uh, work uh, for the internet and WWW. So uh, I like to actually uh, 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 revisit and acknowledge his work and uh, his legacy. I think he can be uh, extended to space uh, near soon. Yeah. So this is uh yeah my my last talk and this is acknowledgement. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>